It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once previously. Today's winner moves on to the semifinals. Let's meet today's teams. First from Bond Mill Elementary, say hello to Peyton Ridgely, Michael Stroud, and Braxton Harsley. And from Laurel Elementary, would you please meet Sean Shackelford, Mustafa Ali, and Jose Guevara. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. Five and ten point questions. Tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25. Toughest question of them all in each category. Both of our teams start out 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, we will have someone moving on to the semifinals. So a lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. Mike, try your buzzer for me. All right. It seems to be A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you, Peyton, and to Braxton. Mustafa, try your buzzer. He has that nice, confident push over there. Good luck to him, to Jose, and to Sean. Gentlemen, let's have a good game. We go alphabetically, B before L, so Bond Mill, would you start us out, Michael? Let's get physical for 10. Get physical for 10 points. Teams, astronomers say that if we could somehow capture one of these celestial objects made of frozen gas and dust, Bond Mill, Comet. Comet, yeah, if we could bring one back to Earth, they say it would smell sort of like rotten eggs and horse urine because of all the sulfur they contain. Let's hope maybe we don't bring one back. Go red. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, in other solar systems where there are very large planets close to their suns, unlike ours, we refer to those large planets and other solar systems as warm versions of what largest planet in our solar system? Von Mill. Jupiter. Jupiter. They are called warm Jupiters, indeed. Go red. Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, we're on an astronomy bent here. Because they hail from the constellation Orion, the Orionids are showering these on the Earth this week. Von Mill. Showering what? Meteors. Meteors, yes, the Orionid meteor showers like the Leonids and the Geminids, all named because of the constellations from where they originate. Go red. Green things for 10. Green things, 10 points. Teams, because plants can't run away from predators, they often grow these sharp projections. Bond mills. Thorns. Thorns, or needles, or spines, like roses and cactus and so many others. Red. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, whether it's salt, or silver, or gold, or coal, anything that is mined is known as one of these. Laurel? What do you think, Mustafa? Minerals? A mineral, you got that, now you're on the board. Minerals are mined, you made that connection. Nice playing, green. Science potpourri for five, please. Potpourri for five points, teams. 
The cover story in the latest National Geographic is about parasites that do more than parasitize. They take over the minds of their victims and make them do their bidding. They turn them into the walking dead. Von Mill. Zombies. Yes, they turn them into zombies. It's diabolical. Go red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, doctors are now able to perform brain surgery by going through this part of your mouth, which famously you put next to your partners if you're dancing very close. Your what to what, Laurel? Pass it to Sean. Sean? Your mouth to mouth. Not mouth to mouth, no. What part of your mouth are doctors now able to go through to get to your brain? It's also the part of your mouth that you put next to a partner if you're dancing very closely. Your chin. Not your chin, your cheek. You dance cheek to cheek. Go again red. 100 to 70, advantage Bond Mill at the moment. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points is a multiple choice question. Teams, money does not grow on trees, darn. But chocolate does. Chocolate grows in these giant Coke pods that only turn sweet when which of the following happens? They're, ooh, you don't even need my choices. They're pollinated, they're pollinated. When they're pollinated. Sean. Sean. When they're pollinated. Not when they're pollinated, no. They only turn sweet if they undergo flocculation, fertilization, or fermentation. fermentation? Fermentation. Fermentation is the correct option. Absolutely right. Go red. Zooprade for 10. Zooprade for 10 points. Teams, carnivores not only don't eat plants, they, don't, they, they also don't let these other kinds of animals that do eat plants eat them. On milk. Herbivores. Herbivores, that's right. So the herbivores are afraid to come near the plants because they know the carnivores are there that are going to eat them. So the plants benefit. Go red. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Team's multiple choice question. Team's ruminants like cows and sheep and horses that eat plants, they eat the plants, they then form a cud, they bring them back up, they got to chew them again to break down the cell walls so they can get which of the following sugars to help fuel their bodies. Is the sugar known as cellulase, cellulose, or cellulite? Bon milk. Cellulose. Cellulose it is. Yes, good, go. Ooh, the buzzer has rung. That was a fast round. Let's check at that score right now. Bon Mill, 145. Laurel, 70. More Science Bowl straight ahead. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Six outstanding young men playing our game today. They've been here before, they've won. Today's winner moves on in the competition. They are accomplished science students. We're proud of all of them. If you didn't meet them before, let me introduce them to you right now. Over at Bon Mill School out there in Laurel, we have a battle of the Laurel Titans here. The Bon Mill team and the Laurel team. Crosstown rivals here. Bon Mill, are you feeling that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. Bon Mill, I know they're in the lead right now, but Laurel says you just wait till the second half over there. <laughs> bon Mill, a great school out there in Laurel. Mr. Fitzgerald, your principal, and yes. Miss Kathy Jacobs, your wonderful sponsor. And yeah. uh, who is the alternate? Because Peyton was the alternate. Who's your alternate? Who's waiting in the wings? Joshua Webb. Josh, yeah. and he's Josh. out there. He's cheering for you guys. 
Michael told me before one of the best things about his school is the teachers because they don't just teach, they make sure that everybody understands before they move on. So you've got some passionate, great teachers out there at Bond Mill. Tell me about yourself, Mike. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I enjoy puzzles. I like doing puzzles at home. Yeah. I like t to build with Legos. I enjoy building stuff and creating. Mm -hmm. Creativity is is one of my skills, in my opinion. Yeah, it's wonderful. And you're a baseball player. Yes. And what position do you play? I play pitcher and catcher. Pitcher and catcher. And what's the name of your team? The Laurel Bolt, the team my dad formed. Wonderful. All right. And someday he hopes to be on the World Championship Chicago Cubs team that finally brings a pennant home to that team that hasn't had one in a long time. Mike, you're a great captain. You keep up your good playing here. Braxton, tell us about yourself. Thinking about engineering, right? Yes, mechanical engineering. Yeah, and Michael and Braxton had told me earlier that he had been to a Saturday program that taught students how to program computers and to do all kinds of things that really piqued his interest. And uh, ever since then, you've had your eye on engineering, I understand. Ever since then. Wow. If you're not tinkering with things, what do you do, Braxton, in your spare time? I'm outside playing with my friends on my bike, or I'm inside playing with my sister, India. Wonderful. Is she younger than you? She's my older sister. Your older sister. Very good. I'm sure she's proud of the job you're doing here today. You play a real nice game, and obviously you came well equipped to play today. Peyton, welcome to the show. Hi. Tell us the Peyton story. What do you want to do someday? Well, I'm a hockey player right now, so one day I want to be a professional hockey player. And if that doesn't work out, an orthopedic surgeon, because I kind of have experience with it. Well, you're, you're wearing some war wounds right now over there. You broke yeah. your thumb. Yeah. This poor guy has been to the ER more times than he can count, right? Yeah. yeah so you're, you've been breaking <laughs> some bones and all, but you love the game. Yeah. You love the game. Yeah. What about the Caps? Is that one of your favorite teams? Yeah, they're my favorite. Wow. Alex Ovechkin and Baxter. Absolutely right. Why did you want to be on this show, Peyton? Well, it started when my friend Michael here, he's from, me and him were close friends at school, mm -hmm. and I remember when his brother did it, and he, because he came and he told me about it, and he said it was really cool, and he said we should do it when we get in fifth grade, so. So here you are. Yep. Here you are. The dream came true. We're really happy to have you. You're playing a nice <laughs> game here. Laurel, I nice have you guys here. Mustafa, tell us all about Laurel Elementary. Your principal? Miss Melinda Lee. Absolutely. And the sponsor of your team, Miss Blake? Miss Blake and Miss Walker. And absolutely. They'll be out in just a few moments' time here. We can meet them. No alternates on your team, right? No. We mm -hmm. had one person, but she quit. She quit, huh? But you guys stuck it out. You are the true troopers over there. How'd you get ready for this show? We, um, well, we watched old videos and we answered the questions and sometimes, and, and we also go on the computers and yeah. do our research. Well, you know an awful lot of science and you play good games and I like how you, you tap Sean and you tap Jose to help with those answers. Sean is a, is a treasure trove of science over there and Jose, he comes in just at the right moment when you need him. Laurel, a great school because it too has great teachers, right? Yes. And Mustafa, yes. where are you headed someday? Um, in middle school. Yeah, you're going to go to middle school and then uh, what do you want to do as a career? As a career, I want to be a surgeon. I'm not sure what type or which one yet. But and you like to cook too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, Chef uh, and that's wonderful. Your mac and cheese, you told me, was... Uh, was something to write home about. Oh, he's just, he's giving this, he, he's got the chef down already. Jose, tell me about yourself. Uh, you're a safety patrol like Mustafa. Why'd you want to be on the show? So I can learn more about science. Yeah. Are you learning some things about science? And you're showing us how much you've learned already. That's one of the points of our game, so you can be a showcase here. You can let us know all the hard work you've already put in. And someday, what are you going to do? I want to be a dentist. A dentist, yeah. Why a dentist? So I can help my family when they grow up and yeah. when they get that money. That's, that's yeah. wonderful. Do you have a dentist now that you look up to? Yeah. Does that person know that you want to be a dentist? Yeah. Good. So maybe that person, he or she, can kind of mentor you and help you along the way. That would be great. Sean, tell me the Sean story. What do you do in your spare time? Well. I like to um, I like to write stories. Um, I I won um, second place for the state of Maryland for my short story. There was a short story contest oh, wow. for us. Wow! Congratulations! Congratulations! What was the title of the story? 
Um, I spot third grade detective case of the missing ice cream. The missing ice cream. Yes. Where did it end up? Apparently, it was behind the librarian's books. Oh, okay. It wasn't that someone had eaten it. No. Okay, all right. I like your creativity and your spirit, Sean. Good to have you on the show. Let's get back to it. Laurel 70, Bond Mill 145, lots of points to give away. Red team, last correct answer. Michael, start us out. We'll do for no, we'll do for Let's start with Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, if in the Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West had been an arthropod, and it came time to shed her skin, she might have said when the water was thrown on her, not I'm melting, but I'm what? Bond Mill. Molting. I'm molting, absolutely good. Go red. Okay. Let's get physical for 25. Ooh, the big one in that category, teams. Put on your thinking caps for 25 points. If there is frost on the pumpkin in the morning, even though the sun comes out, why does the pumpkin never get wet? Hmm. Laurel. You, you could use 25 points dreams? here. There's frost on the pumpkin. The it sun comes the out. Nutrients. Pumpkin doesn't get wet. Oh, it absorbs the nutrients. Uh, okay. It absorbs the um, water or the nutrients in the water. It absorbs it. That, that's a reasonable guess, but that's not, in fact, what happens. What do you think, Bond Mill? Why does that pumpkin not get wet? Oh, the frost evaporates. It does. It absolutely. It doesn't melt. It evaporates. It sublimates. It goes from frozen to gas with no intervening step. The opposite of deposition, where the gas turns directly into frost without being water first. You made it look easy. Go red. Dateline time for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, recently scientists, doctors in Egypt, performed a virtual version of this post-mortem examination on the body of King Tut. What did they perform, Bon Mill? Autophy. Again? Autophy? Is that how it's pronounced? Auto-P-S-Y? Auto-P-S-Y. Yes, indeed. The judges say yes. <laughs> Autopsy. You got the spelling right. Thank you very much. Good. Red. Yeah. Um, Signs potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, new studies reveal that these reproductive units found on our chromosomes are selfish because they program all of our behavior. What do we call these reproductive units on the chromosomes that guide our lives? Red. Nerve. Again, please. Nerve. Not nerves, no. What do you think, Laurel? These reproductive units found on the chromosomes that actually control our lives, they're indeed selfish. We're looking at genes, genes. Let's try the buzzer again. Mustafa, would you try your buzzer? All right, let's turn that off, please. All right, Michael, would you try yours? Okay, turn it off, please. Try it again, Mike. Okay, good. All right, we're back in the game here. Go red. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, Washington Redskin linebacker Brian Arakpo is out for the season because he has a torn right pectoral muscle. For 15 points, show me. Bon Mill. I'd like to pass it on to Peyton. Peyton. Exactly right, like your pledge and allegiance, okay? Your right pectoral muscle on the opposite side there. It is a right. chest muscle. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, it weighed 27 tons. It was called ENIAC, and it was the world's first one of these machines that we now have as a laptop. Bon Mill. Computer. Yeah, it was the world's first computer. It was massive. It took up rooms. Go, Red. Zoo Parade for 20. Zoo Parade for 20 points. Teams, a recently discovered tarantula has been given a scientific name in honor of a beetle, John Lennon, Beetle the Singer. So the genus name is tarantula, and this second name is Leninai. What is that second part of the scientific name, Bon Mill? Species. The species, the genus and the species. That's it. Come on, gentlemen. 
Let's hop on that buzzer. Sean, let's get back in the game here. Come on, Jose. Mike, go. Dateline find for 20. Dateline for 20 points. I know you know this one. A new book called The Theory of Everything shows the personal side of this famous physicist who taught us about black holes and then has spent most of his life in a wheelchair. Come on, Vaughn Mill. Stephen Hawking. You got it. Stephen J. Hawking has Lou Gehrig's disease. Go red. Body systems for 20. Body systems, 20 points. Teams, the bottom two pairs of the 12 pairs of these bones that we have are called floating because they're not attached to your breastbone. What bones are they, Laurel? They're your false ribs. Yeah, your false ribs. You got them. Good. Go, Mustafa. Come on. You got some making up to do. Zoo prayed for 25. Zoo prayed 25. That's how to do it. Teams, I'll give you 25 points if you can tell me why a starfish in the fish. Because it has, Mill. Because it has no gills. Because it has no gills. It has no gills. It has no scales. It does not swim. It has no backbone. Good. Red. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, scientists now suspect that for the sixth time on this earth, 75% of the species will be wiped out in a mass what? <laughs> Laurel. What do you think? Pass it over to Sean. What do you think, Sean? Mass apocalypse. Pa I like that answer. What is, we're looking for a different one, but I like it. A mass what, where 75% of the species disappear, could be the sixth time it happens on Earth. A mass extinction. Extinction, that's what I want here. Good comeback, go red. Dateline science for 25. Dateline science for 25 points. Teams, we all know that Benjamin Franklin invented the lightning rod and the bifocal glasses, but it was his friend the third president of the United States who invented Bond Mill. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson invented something called a dumb waiter. And I know your colleague Joshua wants to be an inventor, and I know he would have known that one as well. All right, good try over there. Come on, Laurel, let's get the rest of these. Go, Mike. Science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 20. Two part answer. Two part answer. If you go to the Safeway and you buy organic, hamburger meat, it will not contain two kinds of chemicals that were given to that cow. A chemical that makes it grow faster or a chemical that kills bugs and bacteria. What are those two kinds of chemicals called that are not found in organic meat? Bon Mill, have an answer in case I have to come to you. What you think? Steroids and... Um It was a good try, Bon Mill. Go ahead. Pass it over, Sean. Sean, what do you want to tell me? It's it's bug spray. Like it's something that pesticide. Not pesticides. That's a good answer too. Not quite, Bon Mill. What two chemicals are not found in organic beef? One that spurs growth, and another that kills infection. Hormones and antibodies. Hormones and antibodies. Go red. Almost done here. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, photosynthesis, when plants make food, depends on what kind of E initial chemicals to make all the reactions happen, the hundreds of them, to make the food and the oxygen. What are those E initial chemicals known as that are also catalysts? Enzymes. Bon Enzyme. milk. Enzymes. Yes, enzymes. Good. Red. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. That was the question, teams, I think, with the antibodies and the hormones. So that one is gone, science potpourri for 25. That one should have been extinguished there. Please choose again. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points. We got that one. It's a visual question. Look at the monitor. This soldier's artificial leg medically is known as a what? What is that thing known as Von Milk? A prosthetic limb. A prosthetic limb, absolutely right, or just a prosthetic or, or prosthesis. Go, red, please. Um, let's, do, let's get physical. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, 
What same word is part of the title of a Disney program and also a movie that starred Sandra Bullock recently, a force that pulls everything toward the center of the earth? Gravity, oh, Gravity no. Falls. What's that? Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is the Disney program and Gravity was the movie and with that gravitational answer, we come to the end of this science ball. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't you go away. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Welcome back. What a game we had here today. We said one of today's teams was moving on in the competition, and they will be. They're going to play Glen Arden Woods, the reigning Science Bowl champ, and they are well positioned to do that. Our final tally today, the great team from Laurel, 90, and the great team from Von Mill, 395. So Peyton and Michael and Braxton and Joshua and Miss Jacobs, you're going on to the semifinals. And Sean, you played a terrific game today and before. Mustafa, you're a great captain. Jose, we loved having you here miss blake you always put all your heart and soul into this we appreciate what you do and we appreciate you being with us we'll see you next time on science bowl bye bye